Put up, put up, put up. What up? What up? What up? What up? All right, so just got another box. Box number two. All right, this box is special, um, because I don't know much about this line. So we're gonna learn this line together, and we're gonna learn how to use this line together. Um, I got the new coconut custard line. All right. Now, to be honest with y'all, this line is is uh, is catering to those with long hair. All right, it's a wash and go line. I got the complete line. It's, for, it's designed for wash and go. It's a five step uh, line. But of course, y'all, I'm gonna I'm gonna figure out how to use it for us waivers. Okay, I'm gonna figure out how to use it for those who like to rock the curls. Okay, so y'all know I got y'all. So. Let's get into showing you what's in the box. So this is the box. Boy, huge. All right, huge. So I'm going to go through all five of these things one by one. All right. So. Shampoo. Coconut custard. Make it last. Wash and go shampoo. Coconut butter and plant peptides. All right. Kinky, coily, and curly hair. All right. You know what I mean? All right. So, it's got coconut. Come on, camera. Coconut. I'll just read it. Coconut, coconut butter, and plant peptides. Shampoo. What's the deal? Conditioner to match. Okay. Shampoo and conditioner to match. All right. They got something called the Make It Last Wash and Go Curl Primer. All of these things got the same exact ingredient profile in it. Um, this is a primer, a curl primer. What's the deal, Mr. Wavy? It's a curl primer and a pre-pool. So you can use this. Um, after the washing condition step or as a pre-pool. Um, today I'm going to use it as a pre-pool. Um, they got this custard gel oil. Okay. I'm a little skeptic about this because it looks like it's going to really, really curl my hair up. But we're going to see. I'm going to let y'all see the good and the bad. All right. So we're going to try this together. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to brush this stuff in after I wash. I'm not washing styling today. I'm just going to see how this stuff do my hair. So we're going to, hopefully we don't fail. But if we fail, y'all get to see the whole uncensored um, results. So um, this is a defining gel oil. Um, I really don't know how to feel about it. Treat that like a hat, man. And I'm not good at that. I've tried a hat man once or twice. I've never really been good at the hat man. But um, it's only so far with this stuff I'm going to go today until I figure out exactly what I want to do to it. But I'm going to shampoo. Actually, I'm going to pre-pool, shampoo, and condition. And I might add this custard in after. We just going to see. And um, we got a revival oil. All right. A revival oil. All right. Same same deal with this coconut oil, coconut butter, and uh, plant extracts. So we're just gonna get into it. We're gonna get into it. Next, I got a um. <laughs> yeah what up carlin next what i'm gonna do is uh show y'all i haven't brushed in like two days bro i ain't brushed in two days so what y'all about to see is a goddamn shame all right i could have not showed y'all this shit all right but i'm about to show y'all no brush no comb no none of that shit slacking bro all right Hell, I barely woke back up, man. I had a long day. Right, 2K, 2K big time. Chill out, big dog. 
Chill out, uh, 2K big time, man. Come on, let's just get these brush games, dog. We ain't, we ain't on that. What's good, Tony? Yeah, two days. I even took pictures, too. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to post my before and after after I get done whooping this, whooping my shit back to shape. I haven't rushed in two days. He said, way well, still harder than mine. <laughs> what up, man? What's good? Hey. <laughs> yeah, but I don't, I'm, you know, once we get addicted to the game, we pretty much don't want our shit to fall off. So, I'm going to comb this nappy Zamunda ass hair out. And we're going to get straight into this pre poo If you didn't know BK having a, a appreciation sale, I have finally added the link to my uh, Amazon shop down in the description. I did add some new BK brushes, new like out of the last collection. So um, if you want to check it out and check the sale out, um, hit my Amazon shop. I also got the tanglers on my Amazon shop. I got sprayers on my Amazon shop. I got do rags, I got shea moisture, I got everything up in there. So check it out um, when you get a chance. And yeah. Uh, 2K, this a a cold label comb. He, Cold Label sent it to me with some Wave and Scout butter and some black soap and some seven juices and berries. Nah, I mean, I'm going to do a video on that soon. It's just, I've been working my ass off uh, with everything else. So, I'm going to get to it, though. Brushing for greatness? Hell yeah. Carlin, the link is in the description. Down low. It's my Amazon shop. I got my own Amazon shop. Um, I list everything useful to you guys on there and I try to keep things that's in a good reasonable price range um in there. Against the grain cuts are the best kind of cuts to get. Against the grain cuts are the best. They're e more even cuts. And uh to me your detail and definition in your hair is much better when you get a against the grain cut. I'm actually getting one next. That's the next cut I'm getting good mr bloomberg man for real man what's up <laughs> it do sound like i'm popping firecrackers it actually feel like it actually sound like static um when i'm combing this shit it's just it's soft nappy hair right now real shit soft nappy ass hair And for the record, y'all know I keeps it real. I'm not going to just do something just because Shea Moisture sends me something. So I'm going to let y'all know really how I feel. Um, as far as pre-pool, using things for pre-pool, if I have something, I'll definitely do it. Um, will I say doing a pre-pool is necessary? Nah, definitely not necessary, but it is useful. So if you got something to waste for it, shoot for it. Um, nah, man, 2K big time. Against the grain cut ain't nothing but this. Against the grain cut ain't nothing but doing this. If your waves is locked in, against the grain ain't, ain't nothing but combing backwards. If your hair is, your waves is locked in, as soon as you come back down with the grain, they're going to still be there. See? That's all you're doing with an against the grain cut. It's like combing backwards. If you got a lot of forks, 
pattern is not set, then I wouldn't suggest you doing against the grain cut. But back before I hit the wave pages, against the grain was the only cut I would get. Uh, pre pool, um, yeah, it is more useful in the winter. You know what? I can't lie. I think it's just more useful overall um, when your hair either struggles with, with maintaining moisture or um, when it's hot and you need moisture or when it's cold outside and your hair stays dry. It's just a way to protect it, to put extra moisture in it so you won't strip it. Now, y'all, I want to share something with y'all. Do y'all see this? I slept in a boo-boo cap. I bought a boo-boo cap after y'all already told y'all I hate boo-boo caps. I bought one anyway. So, I slept in it and I had woke up with this. It was a big-ass dent in my forehead. And that was two days ago. So, it has not went away yet. And it hurt. And that shit bald. Uh, DJ, no, I, I tell people to, to wolf their crown, but really, I really don't wolf my crown. I never have. I never change the guard when I'm cutting it. I never ask for it to be a higher length than none of the rest of it. I always just cut my crown with whatever guard I'm cutting the rest of my hair with. I don't, um, I don't complicate it like that. I like, me personally, I like for my crown to be I don't want it higher or lower than the rest. Um, but again, I also, my crown grows in thick. Because y'all know I put the products in my crown um, to keep it boosting the growth. Know what guard to use when cutting against the grain. Good point, Court. Yeah, when you self-cutting against the grain, you can't use the same guards that you would... Um, you can't use the same guards that you would with the grain. You, um, like uh, four against the grain is a two with the grain, if I'm not mistaken. Don't let me lie to you, all right? Don't let me lie, but it is a difference. I would want to ask a barber or ask somebody I know that cut hair. Um, four against the grain is equivalent to a two with the grain. So I know that by heart because that's the one do but Mr. Wavy you said when you get a new boo boo cap wear it by itself right I was double compressed I was double compressed and that motherfucker killed me dog I look like I've been in a cat fight Alex what's the deal I got that buttercream but it really coiled my hair up bad alright so um let me see y'all. Let's see. Which one's the pre-pool? Okay, so the curl primer. The curl primer. Curl primer is for the pre-pool. This is the one they say use for pre-pool. What's good, Elijah? Alright, so this is the one for the pre-pool. Um, damp hair, so we're gonna wet we're gonna wet. Wet the hair. Now, once again, just because I'm getting these boxes do not mean I'm going to tell y'all go buy everything and that everything is good. I'm going to let y'all know what's good and what's not good. Everybody here react different, but if I tell y'all that it's, it's not something that you're going to need or something that's good, that came out good in the hair, I'm not going to tell y'all to get it. You know what I'm saying? So... If you're going against the grain, you got to use the right guard. True. Yeah. Yep, Mr. Bloomberg. Everybody that's late to the, uh, you love RG3 shirts coming soon. <laughs> that would be lit. What's good, too, low, so That would be lit, man. Um, Damn, made me forget. Yeah, man. 
Yeah, I'm going to show you. I think I got water on the lens. Hold on. I think I got water on the lens. Hold on. Hold on, gang. All right, yeah, man, Elijah, you always want to hit the barber shop with a clean, clean hair equal clean cut. Feel me? Never go to the shop with product in your hair. Too low, so I don't listen. I know a lot of people that's that's from my city really don't like the fact that I don't rep the Pistons, but Pistons will make you depressed, bro. Pistons will make you like never want to, never want to live again. Like they depressing, dog. <laughs> All right, so pre poo. I wet my hair. Oh man. Got it all fuzzy. Um and we're about to get this pre poo going. Everybody that's late, the thumbnail is the thumbnail is um my new products. The second Shea Moisture box I got. Got it today. No slacking. I just jumped right into it. Um, I usually wait a few days to try to figure out what I'm going to do with the products, but um, this is probably going to be my least reviewed line uh, for the simple fact that it's designed for wash and goes. But y'all know me, I make something out of everything, and I'm going to figure out a way to bring it to y'all for those who are interested in the product, if you like how it works. Yeah, it's just straight up uh, water today, bro. I usually do water and oil, but I don't want to interfere with trying to get an idea of how good this product is. So, that's the pre -poo. As usual, all they stuff smell good. All they stuff. I, heard, I saw your comment about the Lakers. I mean, listen. <laughs> that shit was tragic too. Like, how you got LeBron on the squad and y'all don't even make the playoffs? Like, fake news. That was fake news, dog. I'm gonna go over, y'all. I'm gonna go over it with y'all the benefits of doing pre pulls. Um, why you should do them, all that. Yeah, William. I won't say the whole thing, but most of it. I'm gonna get to your porosity question uh, in a minute, bro. Got shit on my hands. But, um. What I have learned so far with Shea Moisture products is that, you know, your waves is curls. But, but in order to maximize your curls, widen your waves, you got to learn how to stretch your curls and teach your hair how to curl tighter. And that way you'll have a better pattern, in my opinion. When you can exercise that curl, the curl in your hair. So I'm gonna use a little bit more, throw it back in the box. I'm gonna read y'all the stuff off of the bottle. Pre pulls, I use that, I use the pre pull steps to really like loosen up the dirt, loosen up the oils or butters in my hair, just loosen it up. Get the curls to start curling up, distribute the product, and then I'm gonna let it sit. How you like that, William? I saw that line. Unfortunately, I ain't got no room to get to it yet, dog. They're keeping me busy every month with all these different products. I will tell you, it's gonna be real hard to beat the Manuka Honey Yogurt line. I'm in love with it, and um, it's gonna be real hard to beat. Wavy Crockett, what's the deal, man? I got the curve on me right now. Yeah, injuries and all that, but to be honest with you, I think it was Luke Walton fault. Luke Walton really was, he was like, <laughs> you know they make fun of players for choking? I think he choked. I really do. He wasn't that bad when he was coaching the Warriors. Even though they don't really need a coach. But. <laughs> Elijah, what do I do after a cut? You brush, my nigga. You brush.
I don't know how long I got you, though. <laughs> No, no, usually after, after, <laughs> I'm being an asshole, my bad. Usually after a fresh cut, it depends on if you got a high cut or a low cut. You're either going to brush with a medium or a soft. I prefer soft brushes. Oils and butters. You know what I'm saying? And you just, you try to brush the hardest, hard as you can on a fresh cut. Because that's where the money is at. <clears throat> Alright, so, the pre-poo joint. Um, it just basically says to take your curl definition. Curl definition is what this pre-pull is for. Curl definition is to prepare. Detangle and prepare. Alright. Detangle and prepare. I'm going to show you these curls. Curly, right? Curly, right? What's good, Wavy Crockett? What's the deal? Yeah, I like this pre poo better than the uh, marshmallow root joint so far because I could feel it. It was curling my hair as I was putting it in my hair. That was impressive. What's good? Banner, what's good? Welcome to the live. What's good? New subs, old subs. Welcome to the channel. Know what I mean? I hope you learned something while you're here. If not, catch up to some old videos while you're around. Uh, Wavy Crockett, did you did you get a chance to buy those brushes on sale or you bought them last night <laughs> before the sale, bro? Which one? <laughs> I hope you caught them on sale. <laughs> I hope you caught them on sale, dog. What's good, Sean? No, believe it or not, I had some stuff in my cart. I had some palm brushes in my cart, but I didn't even cop. I changed my mind. I didn't even cop. Like I said, I've been putting myself on punishment when it comes to brushes. Um, I'm just trying to put, put the ones I got to work, save some bread. Oh, every crocket then left me. I hope he got them boys on sale because he was just we was just talking last night about it. <clears throat> about uh him switching to to curves. And he was supposed to cop some last night. But Brush King sale started today. <laughs> All right, so with the pre pool, y'all, you just distribute it through. You treat the pre pool like a car wash. You know what I'm saying? What's good? What up, though? You treat the pre pool like a car wash. You really make sure it's worked through real good. Um, I do like the texture of it. It smells good. Everything Shea Moisture smells good. I haven't run across something that doesn't smell good. Um, but pre pool step is always just just one simple step. You put it in, you work it through. And um, rinse it out with warm water, and then we're gonna get to the shampoo and conditioning portion of the uh, of the wash. 
Alex, it's not about it being a, a situation better. Um, curved brush is just, it's a totally different pull on the brush. Um, they pull and they stretch. They pull and they stretch. Pause. Hey, for sure, William, you ain't got to say thanks. Just you watching is a thanks to me. You know what I'm saying? Just show support. Um, I hope more people start to share the videos, but thanks for the love, big dog. But anyway, cur curves, they stretch. They pull and stretch the hair, and they just lay the pattern. Uh, they cover more area, cover more surface, and they just lay your pattern differently. And that's why I say it's good to switch the forks. Switch the forks. Switch the curves when you're trying to get rid of forks. Good looking. Yeah, you know how our weather get, bro. This thumb weather ain't no joke. All right, so the pre-pool is done. Pre-pool is done. About to rinse this with some warm water. Then we're going to get to the shampoo and conditioner. What's in the cup, y'all? What's in the cup? What's in the cup, man? Yeah, curves have their purpose, man. I just really feel like if you're not prepared, if you're not prepared to like completely switch over, it's not worth doing, you know, at least until you get used to the brushes. A lot of people still believe that it's going to give you forks. Um, I thought that at first, but after mixing with that shame dollars method um i really f pretty much felt like that wasn't true the curves is gonna move your pattern in the direction that it should go um and sometimes people mistake that as creating forks when really you correcting the fork and then but by the time they do that they give up and switch so i'll be preaching to people give it a week adjustment period um, before you just give up on it. You know what I'm saying? Give it, give your hair adjustment period. You're right. You can't vertical brush that well with them. Um, that's the only thing. That's the only con. If I had to give it a con, you can't vertical brush with it good. So that might throw you off. But this is what it's looking like. What's good, KKR? Curly. Springy. Girl, y'all. 
Time for the shampoo in. So the uh, custard make it last shampoo. Um pretty much the same cleanse and detangle is the whole mission of the whole line. So um so far it's got a got a good grade for smell and texture on that pre-pull. Uh, we're gonna see what this con this shampoo is like. Yeah, you gotta be patient when you're using curves. Just give them their chance. Um give them their chance. Good looking, y'all try to keep it healthy. It better be healthy. All of this premium stuff I'm putting in this motherfucker here. You know what I'm saying? Surround yourself with the best product you can. The, the best, purest butters, the purest oils. You know what I'm saying? Sulfate-free sulfate free conditioners and shampoos. I mean, and if you're keeping up your regimen like you should on a weekly basis, um, you have no choice but to have healthy hair. Um, on top of, I drink a lot of water. I'm on a lot of medication, so I got to be on a lot of water, but... Um, I'm on a lot of water, so you just really got to take care of your body, man, from the inside out. It ain't all about what you put on top of it. But, um, let me put a little bit more. The shampoo smells a little nutty. <laughs> Please do not start being childish. The shampoo smells a little nutty, like how, how shea nut smells or like almonds like how almond will smell or something like that it's not a bad scent but it's not the greatest neither All right, Wavy Crockett, the time is now. I'm about to use my curved hard brush. Good lather, huh? Good lather on that shampoo. Uh, not the best, but it's light. This is a light product line.
What up, what up, what up, what up? Yeah, I'm trying to, trying to show you these angles. All right, let's get it. So on this side, I pretty much brush the same. I try to brush the same, but I'm leading with the tip of the curve. So I'm pulling from the, my crown alongside. I'll pull it straight down. The brush does work. It's just awkward. So I'm leading with the tip of the brush. Pulling it all the way down. Okay. Only times I turn the brush is if I can lead with the with the tip of the brush. Lead with the tip of the brush when you turn the corners with the curves. The back, same angles. Same angles from the crown down with the tip of the brush. I bend the corner the back end of the curve. When I come around here, come up high on the crown. Come all the way around. And when you get to here, that's when you pull with the vert from the tip of the brush. All the way through. It's the only tricky part with curves, to be honest, with is this part. That's why you just isolate it, get it to wrap around like you want with the tip of the brush. All right. Damn, got something in my eye. All right, so this side, same thing. You're going to be good. Same thing with the palm size or long handle. I handle them all the same. And I just go to work on it. The tip of the brush is the most useful area of the curve, though. Because that's the part. This part on up is where you get the most work at. And control. A lot of people try to use the middle of the curve too much. So, I'm going to rinse this one out. Rinse this out. Put some more um, shampoo in, and then we're going to use this Diane joint. <laughs> Popping all these pills make my jaw a lot. Lotus, watch out for this one. <laughs> PB wash and go method with the foam lotion. Um, I don't mean no disrespect to him, but that's pretty much what happens when you try to do too much. You know what I'm saying? I'm not hating, so don't run and say I'm hating, but just trying to do too much. I'm not about to do that. I'm going to trial and error a few things first before I bring it to y'all. If it's not good enough, I won't come to y'all with it. So if all else fails, if all else fails... I'll just um, review it um, and teach y'all how to use the stuff that's good out the line. You know what I'm saying? What's good, Coop? What up, though?
I will say it was a little hard to rinse out. That shit was hard to rinse out. Yeah, I supposed to been did that video, Anthony. Real talk. I've been supposed to did that vi uh, brush collection video. <clears throat> Pretty soft. <sighs> nice. Coming out nice so far. Yep. Alright, so we're gonna use a little bit more. <laughs> Some of y'all ain't got no life with this troll shit, bro. <laughs> Yeah, we in a building deep. All right, so that pre-pool and the first wash did me pretty good. This will be my second wash. After this one, I'm going to do the conditioner. And uh, I'm going to let y'all vote on which I want me to brush, brush into my hair out this box just to make it fun. No. Good looking, yeah. He was tripping. Just to let y'all know, I don't care about how much free stuff I might get. I will not sell my soul to tell y'all, oh yeah, go get it, it's good. And it's not. You know what I'm saying? So, I can't hit the mangoes in my sleep, dog. Hit the mango while I'm asleep, dog. Amen. What up, what up? I've been abandoning y'all. I'm straight to the money today. My bad. I'm So, I'm not as crazy as I usually am. A dollar so free conditioner. Listen, ain't nothing wrong with the cheap stuff, man. You know, we make it work when we gotta make it work. Um, ain't nothing wrong with that, but if you can afford a better grade shampoo and conditioner, 
I suggested, but no doubt, the cheap stuff can work good sometimes. It's just that if you really want to take your hair health to the next level, that's just something that you should invest in, um, upgrading your shampoo and conditioner. Wait, wait. I'm back. <laughs> no, I'm not back. All right, I think I'm back. Um, yeah, I, yeah, always. That's always been my thing. Um, just trying to keep it real as possible because I, I don't want nobody to bullshit me. If if I fucking bullshit me and make me go get some shit that's trash, I'm gonna want to scrap. I'm gonna want to scrap, so I don't want that to happen to me. So I'm not gonna do that to nobody else. You know what I'm saying? So it's a good thick. It's a good thick lather, y'all. Um, I think it'll be a really good wash and style uh, shampoo. I'll test that out Friday on my extra wash day. But uh, I think this is a, it's a good lather. It's got a hold to it. So, after I rinse this, we're going to put the conditioner in um, and read through what it tells you to do. More than likely, three minute, usually a three minute shampoo. I mean, <laughs> three minute conditioner. Usually. And uh, we're going to do that, work it through with the, with the um, detangler brush. And we're going to kick it, which I want me to put in. conditioner and then I'm gonna let y'all pick what product I'm gonna put in in my hair after and we're gonna see how it works Alright, 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 alright. 
What's good, Jake D? What's good? What up, what up? All right, y'all. So, <clears throat> conditioner time, all right? Conditioner time. Um, it said it's a coconut milk ultra hydrating formula. Um, Anti-frizz, okay? Hydrate and soften and uh, anti-frizz, all right? So it says, leave it up to three minutes. <laughs> All right, let's get it. So we're going to open up this thing. Open it up. I think. Yeah, open this boy up. What the fuck? I'm going to open up, y'all. All right, I got it. Dog, I'm at Carpal Tunnel trying to get this out. I'm going to do it on the counter, bro, because this shit. <laughs> I got to stop cussing so much. <laughs> Mr. Bloomberg, how do you maintain wolfing with that much hair in the hot weather? Um, In the, in the heat, I change up my products. I change my oils to the lightest oils, like mist oils. Um, I do cold wet do rag a lot. I shower brush way more often in the summertime uh, with cold water and conditioner. Um, and that's pretty much it. I use gel based products sometimes in the summer, like from my summer waves method. That shine method I had, I used that Kakui oil spray. Um, I use sometimes a gel-based product for hold, and uh, I call that Durag a lot. You know what I'm saying? I don't plan on wolfing this summer, but I am going to give uh, some good tips out for uh, taking care of your hair in the winter. Because, I, I mean, in the summer, because I notice that it's hard for a lot of people and people like to run to getting a low cut just because it's summertime. You don't really have to. But if you're confused and can't really keep track of all the shit I'm babbling about, cold, wet, do rag a lot, multiple times a day, or um, shower brushing with cold water and conditioner. That's the best tips um, that I give you. Nope, I've seen it some... Um, I seen it's an oil out there by Legion Sauce. They got the rose water in it. I gotta try it. What's good, Mickey's boss? We're gonna take a break from the hard brushes and we're gonna use the detangler joint. Alright, detangler joint. Yeah, Carlin makes that sale fat. So, so far, was good and rich. So far, um, I would suggest this line so far to a person that uh, struggles with definition. Struggles with definition because um, I see, I see pretty good definition for my hair to be wet. And just the curl body itself. You know, happy curls, happy waves. Happy curls, happy happy waves, y'all. The ultimate test is gonna see if my hair, you know, when your hair is wet, it ain't work out. 
but once it dry, I'm looking, I'm looking to see if it's gonna make my hair hard. Um, if my hair is still going to be nice, dark, and moisturized when it dries or what. So I'm really curious to see what it's like when it dries. That's the big test. Everything is good with wet hair. But what is it like after it's been dried? You know what I'm saying? It is good definition though. Real good definition. So I know it's been three minutes. I mean, I'm gonna rinse it out. Um, it's been three minutes already. We done worked it through. So So before I rinse it out, I'm gonna let y'all see the stuff. I'm gonna give y'all a choice between two products out this box. That y'all want me to brush um, into my hair before I rag it up after I rinse this conditioner out. All right, so two things I could pick from: a reviving oil or a gel custard. Which one y'all want me to use? The defining gel. Defining gel. All right. Defining gel or revival oil. Okay, which one y'all want me to use? Lotus, help me out here on participation. I need y'all to pick whichever one y'all pick. I'll put it in my hair after I rinse out the conditioner and boom. What's good, Anthony? The live is live stream, baby. You know this. On hot oil days, I'll get to that in one second. The gel, open that gel so we can see it. I got you, DJ. The oil, all right, the revival oil, all right. I really want to use the oil because I'm scared of the gel. <laughs> Fuck. Oil. <laughs> What's leading the votes? What's leading the votes through the gel custard? We know what the oil will probably do. Oil. What's winning, the oil or the custard? I'm going to get Lotus to tally up the votes um, and see which ones is winning. I'll hold it here until I get a, until I get a, a final count. Yeah, Miles, I'm glad that you, um, I know Carlin is just sad. Yeah, I'm going to open it, jail. I'm going to open it, even if I don't use it. I'm glad your washing style has been coming out good, bro. That means you, you learning something. Help me out, Lotus. What's the deal? Is the gel winning? Please don't say the gel is winning. Please don't say it. I hope the oil winning. All right, all right. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> no, gel, no. Re leap of faith, gel. Fuck. <laughs> um, all right. I'm going to do both. I'm going to do both. All right, I'm gonna do both. The gel is like, <laughs> this is the gel, y'all. <laughs> Please just keep your thoughts and comments to yourself. This is what the gel is like. So it's more of a custard than an actual gel, all right? <laughs> so <laughs> the fucking gel wins. I'll use the fucking stinking ass gel for y'all ass. I use the gel. <laughs> I'll use the gel, man. <laughs> All right, let me get to it. I'm going to rinse this conditioner out. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to read the ingredients of the gel for y'all. All right, so this is what it's looking like after I conditioner. 
Um, but the rinse the conditioner out with cold water. Grab the gel, put the gel in, and uh, we either gonna die together or we gonna or we gonna get these games. One or the other. All right, the time has come. I hope y'all got y'all wavy prayers together because I just hope this gel works out. <sighs> About to be on fleek. I hope so, Carly. They either gonna be on fleek or either they're gonna be crusty, dry, or an over curl, so. <laughs> it's about to go down. <laughs> All right, so the conditioner worked out well. Did what it's supposed to have done. Hair is dark, soft, and shiny as usual. I'm, I'm not going to give it too much credit because my hair is already healthy. So, um, the custard gel says layer over prime hair. But I used the primer as a pre-pool, so I'm not going to put that back in. All right, so it says rub gel between your palms and apply to sectioned hair. Use a diffuser to help dry and set your style. All right, y'all. I'm scared. I'm scared. All right. I'm going to read y'all this right quick. All right, so this gel, defining gel is to define, all right, and shield the hair means protect the hair, okay? Define and protect the hair. This is more of a custard instead of a gel. Um, the ingredients is a very long list, so I'm just going to run through it right quick. Um, water, glycerin. Glycerin is really good for your hair. Um, can't pronounce that. Can't pronounce that. Cornstarch. Coconut oil, fruit juice, hydrolyzed protein, shea butter. Man, look, I can go on and on and on. Uh, coconut oil, cocum, butter, uh, sweet almond oil, bobab oil, sunflower seed oil, coconut fruit, acacia, Senegal extract, wheat protein, uh, Senegal gum. I hope it's not gum in real life. Um, and whatever tapioca is, sodium benzoate fragrance and essential oils. Okay, y'all killing me. Time to get it in. We about to put it, put it in. All right, we about to put it in. Smells just like the rest of the stuff. Um. The scent is consistent. I'm going to start with a little fucking bit. Just a little, okay? We're not about to... Look. I'm going to start with this little amount. All right? Another little amount. All right, let me quit. I'm going to put some more in here. All right, I got about that much. I 
I keep reaching for some. I gotta quit. It's real thin, so it's hard to to really get a feel for if you're using too much or or not. So I'm just gonna stop here, and I'm gonna work it through right quick and see what it's what it's looking like. Yeah. So I'm going to get it worked through with this detangler brush first. Then I'm going to move to the actual brush. It's holding so far, yeah, man. <laughs> so far, what's good? They ain't they here. They got me using gel, bro. Long story. The back is a little curly. I'm gonna whip the brush out so I can get some definition flowing. Yes, we'll definitely know when it dry. When it dries is the test, y'all. All right, we about to use the brush now. See what, see what we get. Let me close the top. So, so far it's pretty good. It's got everything nice and, um, it's trying to hold, but I see some curling spots. So, let's see.
It's not bad. I can't say that it's bad. Um, it's not like the moisturizers will leave my hair real curly. Um, I think that this will be a good gel to use on lower hair. You know, on like a... On lower hair, not so thick, not so long. Um, it's not bad, though. It's not too bad. I can't complain, really. Can't complain, really. I'm gonna um, smooth it over. I'm gonna smooth it over with my hands. I'm gonna even try to oil y'all. Y'all done powered me through a long review um, and I appreciate that. So I'm just gonna use the oil. Um, I'm gonna use the oil to top it off. So the oil says, uh, they say use it in between washes. Rehydrate. They say use it in between washes. But we're going to see what it do right now. It's not that much over curl. Yeah. I think it will definitely look better and turn out just a little bit better. Um, with hair that's not so long. Man, it wasn't bad. It wasn't bad. The hair is still soft. It's a little sticky. Just a little sticky. I'm going to leave it like this. I'm going to leave it like this. It's not too bad, but... I know the back is definitely going to be caught up. Um, do the color wet do-rag on this one. I'm gonna leave it the way it is. And then when I unrag it, I don't care how it looks. If it looks like shit, I'm still gonna post pics on Instagram. If you're not following me on Instagram, my page link is below. It'll take you straight there. I'm gonna post my before pics and after, even if it's not, even if it's overcurled and fucked up. Um, I'm gonna show y'all what it looked like. And if it don't come out good, if it don't come out good, I will uh, just co-wash it out and then uh, lay it back down. So, all right. For everybody that's late to the show, we tried out the new um, Make It Last line. It's really designed for washing goals, and y'all know we washing style, but... Um, for longer hair styles, they use um, wash and go as a styling technique. So this line was basically for them, but, you know, I'm the waver in the gang right now. So I got to bring all the techniques and shit to y'all as a waver. You know what I'm saying? Um, so I use the wash, the shampoo and conditioner with y'all. I use the pre-pull primer, curl defining primer. And then y'all killed me, murdered me, made me use this gel. Only thing I haven't used is the oil because this says use this in between washes. So this is something that I will use tomorrow. Um, I will go live, definitely. 
So, yep. Um, hell, I appreciate y'all for motivating me to use some crazy shit. Because I sure was not about to use that oil yet. But, uh, yeah, man, it was epic. You know, I usually don't go live this long, but it was definitely epic. Waiting on my hair to dry. I know it, it might not look too late, but we're just going to see. So, um, everybody, I appreciate y'all watching. Uh, Lotus, thanks. You do your thing.